It's the 29th of April already, 2020. Man, nice Wednesday morning. Got my tomato plants here. We need to put them in the pots out there. Letting them get some sun. They've been hiding inside my RV uh, tub. Been hiding in my RV's tub. These, these are looking kind of buggy. Some kind of bug got in my RV or something. Nibblers. We'll try to feed the bad ones to the girls. They like the. They like eating the bad lives. It's kind of like topping pot plants. Get the dead off. Get the dead off. Things looking yellow or yucky will pull off. Trim back. Yeah, they definitely need to be potted. We need to get them in the pots. When I bought these plants, I bought them from a grocery store. I had them outside. And I bought them when it was like almost freezing. So they look like crap. But they're kind of pulling out of it but they definitely need to be outside but it's been a little bit too cold a little bit too cold at night to have them planted we got us a pesky bird in my rat trap I say girls like eating those little Leaves. <sighs> Got this rat trap out. Little sparrows are digging holes to get underneath my my coop fence here to get in and get the food. They can't. They can't wait for the girls to kick the food out. They have to go in and get my good stuff. That pisses me off. And when you got chickens, you really don't want wild birds in your coop. That's why I like this uh, mesh I got around this coop. Let's reset the truck. Hit my electric fence or a mouse trap, a rat trap. Damn it. Sounds a bit too Rat trap usually takes care of the birds per god. Feed the dead to the uh, the RV cats that hang out, the stray cats people drop off around the lake here. I put some dietaceous earth in the food. I gave them too much, but they'll start doing dirt bass pretty soon. And I did it to the little babies inside too. Put a little bit too much in there too, but. It doesn't hurt them. The dietaceous earth will deworm them. If your chicken's butts are getting poopy feathers in their butt feathers, that's saying they got worms, so you need to give them some dietaceous earth. And uh, I normally don't do a big pile in the coop like that. If I do, I probably need to uh, get a little container. 
like a open water dish container and fill it up with dietaceous earth so they could do a little dust bath with it but in time they'll be kicking that stuff around and that gets into their feathers and they'll kill all little mites and parasites that are in their feathers to help them out but uh, you mix it with their water or their food and when they eat that uh, it kills the worms that the chickens get from eating the grass and all the other insects that they love chasing around inside the coop yard to eat for snacks even the babies love the little bugs I got uh, dusted down lights inside my coop that turn on when the sun goes down and uh, the little babies hang out by the open door window there and wait for the bugs to land on the screen and plug them some bugs so the babies are getting nice they're getting big kind of looking like they're going through their badminton beat up time they're losing a little fluffy fluffy look growing in some feathers let's see if we can see them what are you girls doing back there huh yeah we see ya but yeah the, the yellow one's got a big old fluffy butt a little the little girl they're growing in their feathers little by little. So, little babies are fun. Unfortunately, we gotta set it, segregate them till they get a little bit bigger. <sighs> when they're newborns and they're not from a, a flock that you had, you bought them at tractor supply or a feeding store or something and you just needed a couple more birds um, you can't let the new babies in with your big girls or else your big girls will eat them or at least kill them but they eventually probably will eat them if you didn't pull them out pull out the dead carcass because chickens are kind of like T-Rexes, they eat everything. My big girls, they love mice. If my rat trap caught a mouse or something, I'd throw that in there and that mouse wouldn't last more than two seconds. Chickens take care of mice real quick. They don't play around. They tug a war, fight over it, and have it down their gullet before you know it. We got a girl runner. San Angelo's lifting up the uh, stay in place orders, letting people get out and about. They opened up the uh, park around the lake so people are getting out running around. So we'll see how that works out. We've been pretty fortunate. I thought San Angelo would probably be a, a bonfire with this virus, but I th we kind of got lucky I feel because we didn't have a whole lot of cases I think the most cases we have about 46 cases 42 known cases so so yeah so we're opening these tomato plants we'll enjoy the nice sun they were getting sun inside my RV from my sunroof over my shower inside my rig but probably not enough not enough son you want that leaf there you go so we're gonna let these babies get a couple of days out here see what happens hopefully we won't have any bugs come around and start nibbling that's the bad thing about growing your veggies I don't like using bug spray chemicals 
usually just like to inspect if I find a good tomato eating caterpillar I'll uh, pull that off and give it to the girls and, and they'll have a good little bug treat but you definitely if you got chickens in the garden you don't let your chickens roam free unless you got a high high fence around your garden because the girls will eat your plants for you and all your veggies they love veggies but yeah they're my composters any veggies I grow and plant matter that I knew to trim back or the dead stuff I'll feed it to the girls and the girls will Give me some nice chicken poop to throw back in the garden. So. A lot of dead stuff here. Trim the dead. I guess that's kind of like what the virus is doing. Killing the weak. Killing the weak and the stupid. <laughs> Thank you, commies, for giving us this awesome little virus problem. We'll give the baby some grain. Get him in the. Get him in that digestious earth dust. Dust him off a little bit. Normally, what I'll do is I have a. A pest uh, duster, it's a little duster that pest control people use and they usually fill it up with dietaceous earth like I do and I dust my girls. I'll just wait till they get close and just shoot them 